So, video we have here. This beef is being forced to happen and it's inevitable. This is something to do with Travis Scott and who's ASAP Rocky. So, I don't know what's uh, going on with them. I didn't know there was any beef with them, but let's figure it out. I'm kind of curious. Travis Scott stole his whole style. Yeah. From, from ASAP Rocky. Yeah. Oh, this? ASAP Rocky and Travis Scott are that, two of the uh, most influential bullshit. rappers of the last decade. And not only did they leave their marks in music, they also made an impact in the world of fashion. And yet, despite everything they've done in their careers, the two rappers just can't avoid being compared to each other. And after years of constant comparison, the two rappers were on a collision course of beef. And here's how it all happened. Don't you open up that window. Hey. The year was 2015 and Travis Scott was finally establishing himself as somebody who could be a name in hip hop. But keep in mind that the Travis Scott story is not an overnight story success. Travis Scott's career was a constant cycle of betting on himself and hoping the bet would pay off. And by the time 2015 rolled around, Travis Scott had went from a guy couch surfing trying to make a living to a promising star in hip hop looking to build a legacy for himself. However, as Travis Scott began to make a name for himself in the hip hop landscape, it was almost impossible not to notice that Travis Scott shared a lot of similarities with another big and influential rapper in hip hop. ASAP Rocky's rise Damn. to prominence was vastly different to that of Travis Scott. Firstly, whereas Travis Scott was based out of. I don't know, personally, I really don't see the. The connection, I know he about to get into it more, so it'll help me understand, but I personally don't see the connection just off, like, off the top here. I'm, I'm just not seeing it besides them, like, I don't know, they don't even have the same flow. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't see it. Like, I really don't see it too much. Maybe, like, maybe with the fashion stuff, I can see that, but, I don't know, in the music, I don't, I don't really, I don't really hear it. But, I don't know, maybe we'll point out some things I'm missing. Houston, Rocky found himself in the middle of the mecca of hip hop being based out of New York City. Notably, however, ASAP Rocky's defining trait in a sea full of rappers living in the Empire State is that the music's aesthetic that he carried around were influenced from the Dirty South, or more specifically, Houston, Texas. Homes to acts such as UGK, The Ghetto Boys, DJ Screw, and eventually, Travis Scott, but we will get to yeah, that later. To Personally, South. I'd say that a lot of what made Rocky special was that as a New York rapper, he proved that the days of lyrics getting you ahead of the crowd were behind them. It was a new day, and being unique was worth way more than rapping skill. Not saying he couldn't rap, but being unique is what got him to the ball. Sure, it did get him a lot of hate amongst hip hop purists, but at the same time, the rise of ASAP Rocky and ASAP Mob as a whole was meteoric. By 2013, Rocky had released his debut studio album to massive commercial and critical success amongst hip-hop fans. Rocky was loved by the culture and had all the fame anybody could want. On the other hand, Travis Scott was nothing more than someone who got their name on Double Excel's freshman list that year. He showed a lot of promise, but he was no ASAP Rocky. And then one day, out of nowhere, it seemed as though they flipped careers. By the year 2015, Travis Scott has shown that he could one day not only be a superstar, but one of the biggest rappers in the whole world, if not the biggest artist. And with the landscape of hip hop about to change, Travis Scott being the king of a new generation of hip hop is not necessarily Man, you know what? You know what? Oh, wait, oh. Really too far out of reality. Right. I figured he's gonna say that. But you know what happened? That boy sold his soul, bro. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Maybe. But no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I don't know what happened. Like it did just like randomly. Like he did, he did flip. Like that boy was working hard, bro. I, I know. But he it, like the shit flipped. He ended up being uh, a bigger star. I don't, I don't, I don't really know how. Like I mean, like obviously this shit's good. But I'm just like I don't know how. Like he just like randomly flipped. Like what, what was the thing that did it? I don't know. But it's amazing to, to like look back and and pick that up. Like wow, like they didn't just have that shit. Like he didn't just start off there at the top like he got there by a lot of hard work there's probably some shit i haven't even heard before you know what i mean 
But any, anyway, bro, I'd be happy. But we don't, we only buy two. However, of course, it would be tough to ignore the similarities that Travis Scott and ASAP Rocky share. And as 2015 came to a close, one thing was clear. The feud between ASAP Rocky and Travis Scott was more of an eventuality than one could imagine. And it all began right here. <laughs> It was in this moment that the reality of the similarities between the two hit Travis Scott like a bag of rocks. And though it is yeah, understandable that, that Travis Scott would feel offended by this, all traces of beef, as far as I can tell, trace back to this right here. Because to many, this moment right here is a symbol of the constant comparison and confusion that many people have between Travis Scott and ASAP Rocky. Especially because... And they didn't look at him so hard, bro. He was just like... Just looked at him, bro. Rocky. Especially... I can never do this fucking... There he is. That, that guy right there. He's right here. This, this dude right here, he's just like, oh man. People had between Travis Scott and ASAP Rocky, especially He's because like, it wasn't up. just that the two rappers looked alike, they also sounded alike. Of course, to the trained right? hip hop ear, I know that these two don't really sound alike, but think about it like this these are two rappers who don't necessarily focus on the bars aspect of music and always focus on the sound and the aesthetic. Not only that, but these are two rappers that also aren't afraid to show their visual ideas in terms of a music video. And as it relates to fashion, at least to an untrained eye, they were also pretty similar, which of course might make a lot of people argue, mainly on whether or not Travis Scott actually stole ASAP Rocky's style. Because think about it like this, if ASAP Rocky is influenced by Houston aesthetics, which he is, then would it not be fair to say that Travis Scott would have been Travis Scott just by being born and raised in Houston, Texas? In fact, yeah, you could true. even argue that if anybody stole the style of anybody here, it was ASAP Rocky stealing the style from Houston. And because of how contested true, this bro. argument could get and how inconclusive it all is, the constant comparison never really seemed to escape the two of them. Clearly though, the two approached the comparisons in two very different ways. Travis Scott was offended when someone would compare him to ASAP Rocky, while ASAP Rocky took pride in the comparisons. However, ASAP Rocky's character was going to be questioned, because as 2018 rolled around the two rappers would find themselves both releasing an album in the summer of 2018. But let's talk about how summer 2018 went for both because Travis Scott had an iconic release with the release of Astroworld. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you probably know everything about Astroworld, biggest album of 2018, a defining moment of the decade, and honestly a symbol of what made the late 2010s so great from the special guest features to just the amount of features that it had to the beat switches, and the performance overall has been great and is fondly remembered. On the other side of the hip hop landscape though, you had ASAP Rocky with testing. Which was not only ASAP Rocky's brand new record, but the first record he had released in years. The hype was massive, especially with the success of Praise the Lord, which you might think wasn't that successful because it only peaked at number 45 on the Billboard Hot 100. But I promise you, hard, this is one bro. of those songs that the Billboard charts just can't properly measure that popular that it had when it came out and personally speaking i think testing was a great uh, or at least a good album uh unfortunately it did get overshadowed by Pusha t and drake beefing yeah. surely this is one of the most unfortunate things to ever happen to any album in the history of hip-hop but you know what you know sometimes it happens now me personally i see the success and lack of success of these albums as a representative thing in terms of how popular asap rocky was in comparison to travis scott who was the star of all stars and though you would think that this would lead to some sort of beef, it almost didn't. Mainly because the career of Travis Scott and ASAP Rocky went in two different directions. Whereas Travis Scott aimed to become bigger and bigger, becoming the biggest artist in the world, ASAP Rocky has not released an album since. And even in this 2022 interview, it seemed as though ASAP Rocky albums, was bro. cool with Travis Scott. Something that you entertain? Nah, you can't. You can't feed into petty shit like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. 
like at this point. Right. That shit trash at this point. Right. Yeah. But did you feel like that at one point? I mean, I saw similarities for sure. Right. You know, I saw that he was inspired and shit like that. But that's what we in it for. Yeah. Like that's good sportsmanship. Right. I put it to you like this: like if niggas wasn't like biting off, you know, imitation best form of flattery. Right. People wasn't trying to imitate you. You're doing right. something wrong. And if the video ended right there, I would say that the He's lesson of this friend. video is that rappers shouldn't let comparisons tear them apart and hate each other and whatever, whatever. But the truth is that there was a little bit of smoke to the fire last year. Because even though ASAP Rocky hasn't released a new album, he is still performing and releasing new songs. And in one of the songs, he says this. Now, some of you might listen to that bar and you might think about Drake, especially with the things that have happened in the last few months. And honestly, I would be very open to it. But when I compare Drake's style and ASAP Rocky's style, whether it be rapping or fashion, I really don't see it. But what I do see is a lot of similarities between Travis Scott and ASAP Rocky. The same Travis Scott, by the way, that had some sort of relationship with Rihanna. And the same Travis Scott that stole a lot of the hype that ASAP Rocky was building for Don't Be Dumb by releasing days before Rodeo a week before Don't Be Dumb was set to release. And honestly, I'm not even going to say that Travis Scott and ASAP Rocky are beefing, but it would not surprise me if within the next two years, ASAP Rocky and Travis Scott go at it. Because personally, as and this stands, huh? that is where this is leading to. And I don't know, bruh. Like, is there any, like, current beef with them right at this moment? Like, real beef? Besides, like, I mean, like, Rocky just, like, basically confirmed that he's, like, he's chilling, bruh. He don't, he ain't got no quarrel with Travis, bruh. And I feel like you shouldn't. There's no reason to. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like they do the same thing. Like, I, I just don't see it. But... If y'all see it, bro, just let me know. Like, I, I, I'm just not seeing it, bro. I'm not, I'm not picking it up. It's just not making sense to me.